Here is soft tissue. <clears throat> I think you could recognize the fact that uh, there is fairly dense fibrous connective tissue here. I think you can also recognize the fact that the fibrous tissue is looser out here in that there's more fat. And even though it's called soft tissue, and you can see that this area here has been abruptly cut, this could very easily represent skin because these to me look like skin appendages or uh, sweat glands. So if this was the deep dermis, this would be the subcutaneous fat, also called the subcutis. Uh, also called the hypodermis. <clears throat> Let's take a look in this general soft tissue, however. In this soft tissue, we see something unusual. It doesn't look like blood vessel or fat or fibrous tissue. It looks like something very densely firm. In fact, it looks classically like bone. Here are the osteocytes trapped up within the bony spicules, and here is some fat between the spicules. If we keep moving a little bit, we will see that there is another uh, area of bone as well. So I know what you're asking yourself at this point. You're saying, what is this uh, nice, uh, histologically normal looking bone doing in skin. Well, this disease is called myositis ossificans. And myositis ossificans is a metaplastic process in which normal bone replaces normal soft tissue. It is regarded as an adaptive or metaplastic process. It is not regarded as a neoplasm. And uh, in myositis ossificans, uh, often we, it is often seen following chronic inflammatory processes. We have always taught that the end stage of chronic inflammation could be scarring, fibrosis, calcification. Well, often the soft tissue will go one step further and not only will it calcify, but it will show ossification as well. So myositis uh, ossificans is regarded as a metaplasia in which normal bone tissue replaces normal fibrous connective tissue. Thank you very much.